Hi, welcome to the Wii Video walkthrough. This one is a lot different than the YouTube walkthrough. Wii Video is harder to create a video in, but it could be more um, beneficial to you to be able to put in your own sound files and to put in your own video and to organize it just the way that you want to. So it could be worth your effort. There is help and support, how to upload video, me media, how to create your video and storyboard, create your video and timeline, and how to publish and share. I'm going to click the create new video. I have already loaded my sound files and my images so that I'm ready to begin working. I'm going to upload the media by browsing to my desktop for my music files that I just put on. They would be in my downloads. So I'm adding my train and then I'm going to come back and add the applause sound. It may take a little while for it to process, so I'm going to go ahead and add the second file while I'm waiting. And then I'm going to go back to my timeline so that I could begin. This one's already uploaded. This one's still processing. It's in my queue. It says it's complete. Going back to timeline. Now, as I begin making my video, it does have themes available. If I put one of these themes over my whole movie, it has its own music. And it also adds an overlay of uh, an image over everything. And that may be okay. That may be not okay. But it adds its own theme. And you have to decide whether or not you want that theme. I'm going to just put one in so you can kind of see what that looks like. It will probably have its own song already in it. I can preview what it would look like. It looks like it's going to have a black ish color over the top. Let's go for this one. You're going to want to pick a theme if you are choosing one that would go well with your book cover. I'm just going to pick vintage. I can choose whether or not I want to update the theme's music and update the theme's transitions or I can uncheck these boxes. If you'd like to keep them, you check them. If I'd like to keep my own, I would uncheck them. So I'm going to just, well, let's just see what it looks like to begin with. So here I am. I have the, what it looks like. I can preview it. Every time I click preview, it's going to say preparing for your preview. It takes a little bit of time for that to load. So each time you go ahead and do that, it's going to have to load all the way for it to be able to see. I don't have anything really going on. You can see that each image or each theme loads into its own film part of the timeline. It's not going to let me do anything. So I'm going to cancel my preview so that we can move on. But you can see here's my whole timeline. I could even record my own voice right here. If I wanted to record while in Wii Video, this is where I would add any music that's in there. And this, of course, is my theme. And I can type my title text in right here, which would be my book that I chose. I chose a different one from my other walkthrough. I can change the text color. I can change the, I guess this time I can't change the text style that I could before. So I have that in. Let's see, do I have any more of my other pictures loaded? I do. This picture may be kind of messed up. Let's see. So I'm putting my Agatha Christie photo in to preview it to see what the two would look like. This with the overlay of this image, I would have to play it. And I believe I have my train sound and my polite applause. So to put my different sounds in, here's my sound that went with my theme. To put my different sounds in, 
I would go ahead and put them in. This one is 23 minutes long. I would obviously want to cut, use my scissors and cut and change things. I would want to clip it. I would want to put it into the right exact spots. Because right now I have two music playing right over the top of each other. So I would want to be able to clip and cut and change these ones. My tools are right over here. Not really. They're here somewhere. And so I can see how things lay out. It's kind of like Windows Movie Maker. Let's see. Twenty-three minutes is really long. I should have my snipping tool available. I can fade in, I can fade out. I think to be in my snipping tool, I need to change to a better editing level that is a little bit more advanced than the one I'm in. Fade in, fade out would be great. Volume is high. I click Done Editing. I still didn't get to clip it, and so here's my split. So this is where I would split my soundtrack as needed, and I can cut it into as many pieces as I want so that I can place them where they would go. I would upload any video files that I would have. These are background colors that I could also add as transitions. These are more overlays as needed, like if I needed an explosion, a pow, and I can play them and preview them, I can add them in, frames if I wanted to put a frame on my movie, that one looks like a good one, and again every time I put them in, they put into their own section, and I can change the filters on there as needed so that you can see different things. So we video is going to take you a little bit longer to make than YouTube. You're going to have to play with it a lot in order to be able to see the different things that you want to put in. And you are going to have to organize things a little bit more. But it might be worth it, especially if you have a really advanced video that you are trying to make. And again, this is not a collaboration. You're going to have to make the pieces together, give one to the partner that has the ability to put the stuff into the video, and then one person has it working in the cloud on their computer. Okay, thank you.